Welcome to another episode of Athletes in Action. I'm Wiley Baker. As we continue our travels around Anne Arundel County, we stop at Fort Meade, Meade High School, and visit in with the Mustang Indoor Track and Field Team and head coach Thomas Dunn. Ready! The head coach likes his Mustangs track and field squad. Team looks really good. Uh, we're a little young on uh, the boys' side and the girls' side, but uh, they're making progress, so we're looking pretty good. Excitement abounds in Mustang land about their indoor track and field's talent. We're a nice program, actually. We, all we do is just work hard, keep working, keep working, get better. That's just what we think we try to pride ourselves on. Training outside, but competing inside, adapting to the climate change is all about endurance and pre-race planning. Just change the clothing you wear. You still wear warm-ups when you practice. Just strip as soon as you're done your warm-ups. During the winter, you just layered up the entire time. It's harder to breathe indoor, so you would need to adapt to that compared to outdoor. There's not much of a difference other than just making sure that you keep your layers on throughout the practice and strip when maybe when it gets a little warmer, but not that much. And at a meet, pre-race preparation. Just constantly drink water. Don't want to drink too much, though, because that end up cramping. But just make sure you're still warming up the same as you do in practice. Everything works the same way. And mental preparation between races is key. I try not to stress about it. I talk with my friends, and I stay pumped and stuff, get ready for the next race. Preparation is somewhat different for track versus field events. For running, I do a lot of running, endurance training, speed training, and for jumping, I work on my form and my core workouts. Competing in both long and short races takes mental and physical prep. For long runs, you would need to work more on your endurance, but then for the short runs, you would need a lot of strength work and stuff. Yeah, they're right between them. Move your arms. For a straighter run, it would me more or less still warming up, but during hurdle warm-ups, you, you would need to go over a couple of hurdles, make sure your form is right, do some half speed, maybe do one, one or two full speed, make sure you're walking over, doing everything right, make sure your arms and everything is coordinated. Senior leadership is unbelievably important to help the Mead runners along. They're huge. Um, getting the seniors and the captains to just get in there and do things that you really can't do, um, coming from an athletic perspective. Um, it's good to hear from their peers sometimes instead of from their coaches. So uh, it's good to have that leadership out there. So uh, they're, they're like an extension of yourself. Teamwork is critical in relay events. Reading your teammates is vital. We all have a certain type of bond as a team on the relay. And then in visual, how we pass off the batons, like first leg has a bond with the second leg, second leg has a bond with third leg, third leg has a bond with the fourth leg, and we all just get along. Building that camaraderie and that, uh, that companionship amongst the teammates um, is, is definitely important. A coach's advice helps lead to a winner. Well, my coaches are really supportive. Every time I have some problems, they, I always go to them and they always uh, help me through it. The coaches are always supportive. They make sure everything's cool, make sure you're fine, make sure like everything academic-wise and academic-athletic-wise, everything is fine, and just make sure that you're the best you can be at that moment in time. Make sure that you can always continue to be the best you can be. Getting to the finish line with good grades is as important as running through the tape first. Our academics is always before our athletics. We always make sure our grades are good and then we had to make sure that we also have a certain amount of points for us to be able to compete in the track meet. In my classes I just try to focus on making sure I study every night and I try to make sure I always do my homework and I always stay focused even outside of practice. To complete your senior year in style? If I could get personal record every meet and win almost every race with my team, that would be amazing. Doing my best at every meet and knowing that at the end I had fun doing what I do. Making sure I to continuously get better and better throughout the meets, throughout the, throughout the days. Step-by-step -step improvement would please the coach. For these guys, just getting better, getting better day by day, um, just making sure that the kids are making progress. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Wiley Baker. I'll talk to you on the court, on the field, or on the air with more of Anne Arundel County Public Schools Athletes in Action.